Welcome back to my channel. If you missed my last video, I'll have it linked in the cards, but I used the Bakay set of the Fenty Beauty Vivid Liquid Liners, and today I'm going to be using all three of the base side eyeliners. Now, in my last video, I did all of this on camera, so I decided to skip that part. If you guys are watching every single video with these liners, you can just go back and watch that video if you want to see how I did my face. I did everything exactly the same, except I put Penny For You Thoughts like in the back of my cheekbones. <laughs> but we are going to get into this. I am so so excited for this. I am in love with this salmon shade and this lime green shade, but the last time that I tried to use this lime green shade, it did not work for me. So hopefully today it will. So let's get on into this. I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do for once. So let's get on into this. So I just zoomed you guys in. I have my Moroccan Spice palette, my much loved palette. This is actually probably one of my most used palettes, surprisingly. <laughs> when I, I avoided buying this palette for the longest time, because when you look at it, you like, it's like, eh, there's neutrals, there's like pops of a red, pink, blue, bleh. It's nothing crazy interesting but I honestly use this palette for everything like I use the brown shade for my eyebrows I use this kind of pinky shade in the middle right there don't ask me what it's the name of it is I use that shade for my blush all the time because it just blends in with bronzer so well and it adds a nice little glow to your cheeks so I love it also, I've had my eyeshadow primer on without any anything else, and it's looking a little questionable. So let's get on into this. So that same shade that I use for my blush, I'm actually going to take that shade first. And we're going to put that in my outer corner, or I'm going to put that in my outer corner. I don't know why I say we're, like you guys are following what I'm doing. I don't know that. Look at how pretty and soft this shade is. I freaking love it so much. But I feel like this would go really well with that salmon shade, or the salmon eyeliner, I should say. Also, in my last video, I did mention that I felt like if I put a lot of shadow on, it cracked more. So I'm curious to see if it is actually going to crack more. But I know for sure that green shade cracks, but so far the blue and that kind of salmon liner does not crack on me. So if it does start really cracking on me, then we have a problem, Houston. Also, I had a comment on my last video, M Wall. I see you. I know you. You always comment. They commented to try out the Fenty Beauty eyeliners over a little, little thin, thin layer of Vaseline to see how they would perform. If you guys are interested in that video, let me know because I thought that was a really interesting idea because I was saying like that I feel like if the eyelids have a little bit more like concealer or like something to kind of like hydrate it a little bit more then maybe it won't crack as much and then I am going to get a smaller brush and I'm going to take this shade. I think it's Spice Trip. I'm not 100% certain because I'm dyslexic and I can't, my brain cannot function on how this eyeshadow palette is laid out. Like if they like put the colors in the right order, then I would, I feel like I would understand. Like I could be like, oh, that one is the top right, but it's like backwards. And it, I, my brain is just like, no, don't do that. Don't try and think of that. And so I, I I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to take Spice Trip and I'm just going to deepen it up just a little bit and kind of blend that inner part. And then I want to have a cream 
kind of a shade. We're going to take the Anastasia Riviera palette because the Fenty Beauty one does not have the shade Estate. And I'm going to put that in this inner part of my eye where there is no eyeshadow yet. I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to blend the edges. Want it nice and diffused. Okay, we're getting into the eyeliners now. I don't know why I closed my palette. I need that for a mirror. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. So, since I love this salmon color so much, I'm gonna use this one for... Someone asked me why I was like shaking in my last video and I forgot to tell you I'm like sitting here like shaking the eyeliners like this and I was editing it and I was like, eh, whatever. Like, I didn't think much of it, but someone asked me like, why are you shaking or like, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm just shaking up the eyeliner a little bit, but I'm going to take the shades on here are so tiny. So this is Papaya Mama and I'm using the Bayside set and we're going to do a big wing with this and I am wiping it off. So I find that if I don't wipe it off, I, I kind of felt like I didn't explain this enough in my last video, but if I don't wipe off the eyeliner, like the tip, I feel like it creates that like brush stroke look on the eyeliner. I'm holding my breath so much. Holy cow. I'm just doing a wing. All right, so while this wing is drying, I'm gonna do the other side and just map it all out. All right, so now we got our wings and this would actually be a really pretty like just nude pinky look with like some lashes and maybe like a really dark brown smoked underneath but we're not doing that today <laughs> so now is the tricky part oh gosh so now i just wiped off the eyeliner again and i'm gonna look straight and i draw a line where my crease is and then connect that bit to where I just did that line. And then kind of just accentuate it out a little bit. Making it like a like a circle. And then I'm just gonna stay here with my eyes like this for a second. So it doesn't crease or anything. So now is the fun part. We have the general shape of what we're doing. So now we're just gonna accent it with the blue and the green. So this is going to be really hard. I don't know, again, I'm shaking these. I don't know how I am going to show how I'm going to do this because I'm so nervous. <gasps> but I'm going to put the green on the outer part of the wing because I know for back that this green was really difficult for me to use last time so I don't want to use it a ton a ton but I still want to use it oh. oh oh I'm so nervous this makes me so nervous holy cow doing this side on camera is so hard ah <laughs> uh, don't squint your eyes. I'm just gonna have to have a resting bitch face today because I was thinking about it. And when I smile, how am I gonna smile? <laughs> I look like a psychopath. But I did notice that this side is cracking just a bit. The eyeliner is cracking where I smile. But I think that was my fault. And now this is probably gonna be the hardest Part. I'm going to explain it and then I'm going to try and show you guys, but I feel like I'm not going to talk through this part. I'm going to be really holding my breath. I'm going to get the blue and I'm going to line the top of this pink line and then follow the circle. Do you just take the wheel? All right. I don't know how to do this. I need like something that's like stable. Uh, okay. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Okay. Oh, we got a little bit of the circle. Holy cow, how am I gonna do this without messing this up? That was a lot to deal with, holy crap. And now we get to do the same thing to the other side. What fun, what fun. I'm like out of breath from holding my breath. All right, I'm just gonna go back in with the pink 
and retouch any areas that I went too far in on with the other colors. I think I want to take the green on the top of the wing now that I'm really looking at it. This is so stressful. Like at times, like I feel like if you don't want to do eyeshadow and oh, you don't want to do eyeshadow, you just want to throw like a colorful winged eyeliner on and do your face. I feel like it's really fast, but like when you start doing stuff like this, like there's no turning back. I don't think I could do this on camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so I did it. I think I like that they like hardly touch each other. <sighs> My freaking anxiety for the next couple of days. <sighs> God. <laughs> okay, I think I did this line. They're way different. This is what always happens. Okay, I'm not gonna deal with it. <laughs> I went to go add more onto this and I was like, no, that's a terrible idea. Don't do that. Uh, I got eyeliner all in my eyelashes. I was saying that in my last one, like when you try to do this, like, and then you try to put mascara over this liner, girl, forget it. Oh my God. I think I'm going to add a little bit more pink in between the blue and the green on this side to give it a little bit more separation like it is on this side. Now I'm not going to. Maybe, okay, no, now I'm not gonna touch it. You are not going to touch it. It is fine. I feel like I'm gonna just walk around like this all day. Hey, what's up? But I think I'm gonna add this shade at the bottom there as my inner corner highlight. And I just wanna blow this up since the rest of it is super matte. I want this to be like hecka crazy. And I still don't know what highlight I wanna do. So I think I'm just gonna keep the highlight pretty natural. So I have Mean Money, Hustler Baby, and Afternoon Snack and Mo Money. Look at how abused and loved mean money hustler baby is but i want to make afternoon snack with hustler baby so the two on the inside i'm gonna mix those together Ooh, i love when they look like wet i love when they're colorful and i love when they look wet i'm going to do some mascara and then we're gonna pick out a lipstick all right so i've been sitting here really trying to decide what lipstick to wear but before that i forgot to mention or i forgot to show you guys the cracking so i don't really notice like a ton a ton of cracking but i feel like it's because the pink doesn't really crack in general and the blue and the green are such thin lines that like even if they were to crack like I feel like it'd be a little bit harder to notice. I do feel like this line over here is looking a little bit more textured and not as smooth as this other side and I believe that's a user error but I wanted to get all up close and personal with you guys so that you can judge for yourself on how these are performing. I really want to bring out this like peekaboo kind of blue color that I have going on. So I think I'm going to take Go Deep and Motorboat and kind of ombre them. So I'm just going to take Go Deep first. I look like a weirdo. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to take a motorboat. All right, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this. I hope this helped you out in choosing some different ones, getting some ideas on what to do. I do like the blue lipstick with this. I think this looks super cool, but let me know what you guys think. Also, I forgot to mention this in the last video, but I want you guys to let me know which shade out of each set is your favorite and i want to do something really crazy with just using one shade from each set but i want you guys to pick which one you want me to do because i have a ton of ideas on what to do like eyeshadow wise with each individual colored liner but i'm curious about what you guys would like to see like if you guys want something like super crazy. I know I'm going to do a dark eyeshadow with a white liner, 
but if you guys have anything else that you want to see like if you're like oh my god i love that blue so much the blue liner that's called skinny dip you need to use that it looks so pretty that is it for this video i hope you guys like this video i'm gonna keep it short and short short <laughs> i'm gonna keep it short and sweet and i'll see you guys tomorrow when i do my video with Bay watch now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this video comment down below which eyeliner you are most excited about in this set and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss my notifications when i do random little series like this you never know <laughs> and i'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow